Do you ever feel like you're in a world where everything is black and white? Where the days blur together and nothing seems to spark your imagination? Well, today we're going to take a journey to a land far, far away. The magical world of Oz. Just kidding, we're not going to Oz. But what I am going to do is to recreate one of the most iconic movie dresses of all time. The blue gingham dress Dorothy wears in The Wizard of Oz. I'm very excited, so let's go! This is the dress I'm talking about. It has a gathered skirt that is a little longer than over the knees, a pretty tight-fitted bodice with a straight neckline and pretty wide, big straps. Underneath the dress, Dorothy wears a white blouse that has puffy sleeves and a gathered neckline. I'm going to start with the skirt, so I measured from my waist to a little bit below my knees, which is 65 centimeters. And now I'm going to take this beautiful gingham fabric and cut off a piece that is two meters long and 67 centimeters high. I now have this very long skirt piece, but I changed my mind, I'm first going to make the bodice and therefore I have to make a pattern and I'm just going to take the pattern I made for Lorraine's dress and remove 5 centimeters on the waist and 4 centimeters right here at the top and then I'm going to cut out the pieces. I finished to cut out the pieces for the bodice and I also cut out these long strips. There is one for up here, one for the waist and another one for the skirt. And now the first thing I'll do is to sew these pieces of the bodice together. This is already looking very nice. I just pinned it together in the back to be able to try it on. And now the next step is to take this long piece of fabric. It is six centimeters wide and I'm going to sew it on the top edge like this to finish it off. To start, I sew the two layers together and fold it over, then press it. Next, I fold in the edge by 1 cm and fold the whole piece in half. Finally, I stitch in the ditch to secure it. This is how the bodice is looking right now. You can see right here the pieces on there. And next I'm going to take the waistband pieces. These are just also long rectangles and they are both 7 cm wide and I'm going to sew them on there. This is how the bodice is looking so far. The waistband is attached. So now I'm actually going to take the skirt and sew it onto the bodice. Together the skirt, I sew two long rows of gathering stitches and pull on the top threads. Then I even out the gathering, pin it onto the waistband and sew the two layers together. Finally, I zigzag stitch the waistband lining, press it and secure it in place. This dress is already looking so cute. So next, I'm going to close up the back by putting in an invisible zipper. The zipper is in and I also tried it on and it fits very well. So next, I'm going to hem the bottom edge and I'm also going to take this long piece of fabric and sew this line down here onto the skirt. 
To hem the skirt, I fold over the bottom edge twice and sew it down. Then I fold and press one side of the long piece. Next, I pin and sew it onto the skirt, fold it over and sew it down. The dress is almost finished, there are only the straps missing, so I'm going to take the dress on and measure out how long the straps are supposed to be, cut them out, sew them together and attach them onto the dress. For the straps I cut out four rectangles and sew two pairs together. After trimming the excess fabric, I turn the straps inside out and use a pencil to poke at the corners to make them look nice and neat. Finally, I sew around the edges and add a buttonhole. The dress is finished! and. It all went surprisingly well. I just had to undo and redo like two seams, I think, because they were not looking that pretty. But other than that, it just went all smooth. <laughs> there were basically no obstacles and it just was very easy to make. And I'm I'm just very <laughs> surprised. This outfit isn't finished yet. There is still the blouse missing and that's what we're going to do next. I don't have a pattern for the blouse so I have to make one and therefore I'm just gonna take a t-shirt that fits me well but still a little loose and I'm going to trace it out and make the blouse pattern. <laughs> The pattern for the blouse is finished. I have the sleeve, the front and the back piece and there are mainly four changes I did to the t-shirt pattern to make the blouse pattern and the first one was to waste the neckline a little because the neckline is like this neckband that is pretty tight on the neck and therefore the neckline had to be a little higher than on a t-shirt. The second change is to make the front and the middle a little wider because there is this little gathering detail around the neckline and there I just had to make sure there is enough fabric together. The next change is to make the sleeve a little higher and also a little longer. And the fourth change is to make the sleeve wider and that is why my pattern is looking like I cut it in many pieces because that's what I did. <laughs> so next I'm going to take some white fabric and cut the pieces out. I just hate this rotary cutter. It's awful. It's making awful sounds and it's so dull. It's so annoying. <laughs> I just really want to have a new one. Sleeve number one. Sleeve number two. I finished to cut all the pieces out and I also cut out these rectangles for the neckband and the sleeve cuffs. And now the first thing I'll do is to gather the neckline of the front piece. The neckline and the front is gathered, so next I'm going to put the back piece and the front piece together and sew them together on the shoulder seam. The front and back are sewn together, so next I'm going to take the sleeves and sew a gathering stitch along this curved line and gather it and then sew it onto the bodice. The 
sleeves are attached and it's already starting to look very cute. So next I'm going to close up the side seams and the sleeve. The blouse is now basically in one piece, so next I'm going to attach the neckband. I just noticed that I forgot to sew the trim onto the neckline before adding the neckband. So now I have to detach the neckband again and I need blue trim and I don't have blue trim, I just couldn't find some that looked similar. So what I'm going to do is to take some of the gingham and cut out a piece that is on the bias and just fold it in half and use that as the trim and sew it onto the neckline and then attach the neckband again. I finished to attach the neckband correctly, including the trim, and I also went ahead and hemmed the bottom edge. So next I'm going to gather the sleeves and sew on the sleeve cuffs. The sleeves are done and that means this blouse is almost finished. The only thing missing are some buttons at the back to be able to close it and I also have to finish the back side, so let's do that. It is finished! Originally I also planned on making the shoes and that's why I bought these shoes and my plan was to glue lots of red glitter on them and then also have the ruby slippers but I don't have red glitter and I also don't want to make a big mess so I just gonna leave them as they are but that doesn't matter because I just tried on the dress and I can tell you it's looking so cute and I was really not sure about the blouse because it's just not really my style but together with the dress it's just it's just so cute and I'm really happy it is because it took a pretty long time to make I think the dress took me about two full days to make and the blouse another full day so it's actually a pretty big part but although it took me a while I can highly recommend to make this costume because it's actually pretty easy to do and there are also some patterns for the dress you can buy online but of course you can also just do it like I did and do it yourself because the pattern is also pretty simple to make because most pieces are just long rectangles and for the bodice you can actually use the pattern I used. I made it in one of my last videos. If you haven't seen that video, definitely go check it out and if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and without further ado, let's have a look at the finished costume. Mm -hmm. 